Hi everybody, this is Bilal Ahmed and welcome in science class. Today we are going to learn, we are going to start the unit two. In this unit two, you are going to learn the forces and movements. Okay, you are going to learn what are the forces. Okay, the forces mean how much force do you need to push things and pull things, right? So, do you need big push or small push? Okay, for example, when you go to the restaurant, right? So, here there is a door. So, do you need a big force? or small force to push or pull the door, okay? To open and close the door, right? So we're gonna talk about more in our uh, lesson. So guys, here is the topic 2.1. This is the first lesson in unit two, okay? The topic is forces around us okay uh, what force we use in our daily life okay like uh, uh, pulling pulling the bag right pushing the car right pushing the cart right and uh, pull your pull the kite right so we use force every day in our life so let's begin, guys. First of all, we have to know what is force, okay? Look at this picture. The girl is, the girl is moving this toy bicycle, okay? The girl is pulling, sorry, the girl is moving this bicycle. So the girl is using force to make things move, okay? When the girl push the bicycle, okay? So the bicycle will move. So we can say the force can move things, okay? And the another thing is, look at this picture. This man is stopping the ball. Can you see him? The man stopping the ball. Okay. So it means force can make things stop. Okay. So force can do two things. Move. The girl is moving the bicycle. And force can stop things. Like the man is stopping the ball, right? To not a person make a goal. So forces can make two things. Keep remember, move things and stop things. Let's move forward. So forces. There are two forces. Okay, we're going to learn in this uh, unit too. The first one is push okay push means go away push mean that things will go away from you okay and can you see him so this is push p u s h push and this is pull okay when you make things towards, okay, towards to you, okay, you want something, okay, you want to, you want to, uh, towards, okay, to your body, so we can say pull. So keep remember, there are two forces, push and pull. When things go away from you, okay. The forces away from you, we can say push. 
and bend things towards you. Okay, towards you. So we can say pull. Same when you go to the restaurant and when you pull the door towards to you to open the door, we can say pull the door. So keep remember two forces push and pull. Now look at the example, guys. Here is a car and you need a big force. Okay, you need big force because the car is heavy. The car is not light. So this man need big force. So look, the man is push the car or pull the car. This man is push the car. Okay, this man want this car away from him. Okay, so this man is pushing the car. Look about this man. Is it pull or push? You're right. This man want this cart towards him. Okay, towards him. So we can say pull the cart. Now, here are more examples. The boy want to stretch this rope. Is it pushing or pulling? It's pulling, okay? Because the rope is towards him, not go away. And this man is pushing the cart, so go away. So we can say push the cart. Look at this girl. Is she, she want this bag go away or towards her? Yes. She want this bag towards her. We can say, pull the bag. Pull the bag. Okay, look. This woman pushing this wheelchair. So is it pulling or pushing? First of all, think it's go away or towards her. It's Pushing, okay, mean things go away. So this is push the cart, sorry, push the wheelchair. Okay, now look at these picture guys. So look, what are the people doing? Look at the girl. She's helping his, okay, she's helping the brother, okay, to learn to teach how to ride the bicycle. Is she pushing or pulling? You are right. The girl is pushing the bicycle. Why does the bicycle go away from her? Now, these boys are playing football. This boy wants this ball towards him. And this boy also wants this ball towards him. Both are... Uh, both are trying, I want this ball. So they are pulling the ball. Okay, they are not pushing or go away. These boys are pulling the ball. So let's talk about how force can help us to get the man stop the ball. Okay, to not make a goal. So she, he will push the ball away from him, okay? So forces can make things move and they can make things stop. As you can see in this picture, this man is stopping the ball. So what he is using? The force. What force he using? push force okay this man uses a push to stop the ball okay so guys you have to look at the activity now okay now here are 
the kids and they had an activity okay she is playing with the ball okay she's rolling the ball and uh, this girl she want to throw the ball away from her okay so how can you make a ball move yes guys how can you make the ball move you have to push the ball okay if you want to move the ball you have to push the ball if you want to make ball stop okay so push it so will the ball move if you push it yes it moves and you push harder the ball will move will it move if you pull it okay so you have to look yes of course it will move okay so it depends how much force you are using for with the ball okay if you are pulling harder or pushing harder they will move how can you make it stop pull the ball okay so here is an activity we done during the class so just keep remember if you want to uh, move the ball so push it okay and the next activity uh, sorry we have uh, these questions okay uh, look at uh, the picture right uh, one two three okay so this boy is pulling the ball sorry pulling the car toy car this boy is pulling the rocket and this boy pulling the toy horse right so what do you think guys do you need big force or small force okay so big force uh, look guys this man is using big force because the rock is too heavy this is the big rock in the picture so this is not easy to uh, with small force you need a big force right like uh, 10 man 10 men okay or 20 okay you will need uh, more boys to move this rock so guys look at this one okay do you need big force or small force because this is the toy car very small yes you will need small force to pull the car look at this boy he will need small force to pull the rocket this toy is big and little heavy okay so this boy will need big force okay to make the things move so he can pull this horse by big force and these car toy and rocket with the small force right the question one is which toy okay one two three there are three toys which toy need a big force to make it move yes toy horse need big pull to move the horse two which toy here are three toys guys need a small pull yes to make it move what do i need small force the toy car this is the smallest toy in the picture okay this man this man i'm talking about is pulling a big rock this man pulling the big rock do you think the rock will move uh, guys first of all this rock is very heavy very big so one man is not enough to move this rock you will need some machines 
and uh, you will need uh, 20 men 20 boys right you will need more people to move this big rock but this one man is not have enough power to make it move so we say no because the rock will need big force okay the rock will need big force like 20 men or 15 men so after the class uh, we practiced uh, what is pull and push so look at this uh, picture you have to answer these question this is the seesaw the boy the kids are playing seesaw so are they pulling or pushing yes you have to think this one is pulling or pushing yes yeah, she pushing and she's pulled up okay she's she's go down it means she is pulling the seesaw and this man this boy is pulled up okay now look at this one do you push or pull the crackers yes because you are you want to take these biscuits right and you want to eat it the biscuit you want towards you not go away from you it means you are pulling the biscuit okay you will pull a biscuit and eat it if you push it it's gonna be break now here is the swing look the the, the mom and dad are pulling or pushing the swings they are pushing the swings to move away this boy is moving away from you yes look at this boy he's pulling or pushing the paddles yes he is pulling the paddles okay pulling or pushing this is pull and this is push okay if you push harder the bicycle will move faster yes the girl is move, want to move this toy is it pull or push yes you are right it's pull okay do you push or pull it you want to close the door Yes, you will need push to close the door. If you want to open again, you have to pull the door towards you. Yes, the spinning top. So do you push or pull? You have to push it. Okay, so here they are pushing or pulling the tug war. The team A is pulling, the team B also pulling. Okay, so they are pulling. The, the pulling, the cart, pushing, because if you push harder, you go away. So here are the examples, okay, pull and push. So there is a worksheet I already sent on WhatsApp group. You have to download, print it, and solve it. So today, guys, we learn about push and pull forces. Okay, please revise. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a good day.